Hey you guys, if you want to see how I achieved this huge mega puff, then go ahead and keep on watching. I'm starting out on a third day old twist out and it's always best to do your puffs on old hair just so you can get it really big. But to get it even bigger, I'm going to kind of comb out my hair, comb through the roots so I can get so much more volume. So this is what my hair looks like once I'm completely done combing it out. So the next step is to just spritz my edges and the back of my hair with water. Now this is completely optional but I do like to take an oil, it doesn't matter which oil, and just apply that all around my edges as well. And then I will just brush my hair because I like it to be smooth when I'm applying my um, knee high to my hair for my puff. Now to form my puff, I use a piece of a knee high and I do have another puff video where I actually show you guys how I cut it so I will link that down below. So now I'm just placing the knee high around the perimeter of my head so I can get ready to form my puff. So once I have those two pieces crossed, I just like to push up the knee high along the back and um, once I have it kind of where I want it, kind of to the middle of my head or by my ears, then I just start to tug at those two pieces like you see. And I don't know if you notice, but it is kind of shaping my puff and rising. So just keep doing that until you get it to where you want it and then you're going to just tie it in the back. You don't have to tie it if you don't want to but I like to just knot, tie it in a knot so that it's more secure and then I just bobby pin those loose ends into my hair as you'll see. And I wanted to point out that you don't want to make your puff too tight or too high because that will just make your puff smaller and you don't want it to be small. So once you have your knee high or your shoestring your whatever you use for your puff, you want to just form your shape to your puff. Um, you can pick it with a comb to make it even bigger and yeah. Now the last step is of course to add your edge control and I've been loving this Miel Organics Edge Gel. Um, it's just not harsh at all to my edges, it's not like the Eco Styler that I use. And then also it has a nice hold, it's not too hard, not too soft, so it's perfect. So I just like to do the little baby hairs that I have in the corners and I love to do my sideburns. And then um, I'm just going to brush it up and that is the look. I also like to add gel to the back of my hair and you can add your gel before you make your puff or after like I did. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. 
So this is the final look you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how I get this huge mega puff as I like to call it. Um, it's really easy to do and you can achieve this look if you just follow my steps and my tips. It's super cute and um, it's not tight at all on my head. You guys know about those super tight puffs that just give you a headache. So yeah, just make sure you don't make it too tight and you'll be good. So, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!